Youngstown was the home for Emil Dinzio, who I think legitimately is the LeBron James of bank burglars. This is Emil Dinzio in 1992 when he was picked up in Youngstown on bank burglary charges. He is considered the mastermind of the biggest bank vault heist in U.S. history. Dinzio and his crew broke into a safe deposit vault in California. Sharon says the burglary was tied to a payment from union leader Jimmy Hoffa to President Richard Nixon. The screenwriter says it was an opportunity Dinzio couldn't pass up. When he heard about Nixon extorting money on the campaign trail and hiding it in a little bank in Southern California, it was too much for him to resist. Sharon got the idea to turn the story into a movie in 2003 when he met Harry Barber, Dinzio's nephew, who was the getaway driver during the heist. Barber told Sharon how he got mixed up in a life of crime. He moved to Southern California in the 1950s, um, but he got 41 speeding tickets in one year. The judge tore up his driver's license and his mother punished him by sending him back to Poland, Ohio to live with his grandmother. And that's where he got a job with Emil. Sharon says Dinzio and his crew weren't just any burglars. They were smart and precise. Harry was really adamant to tell me that these were not, as he calls them, weekend warriors. That they studied alarm systems. They learned how to beat alarms in all situations. Brittany Bissell, WKBN 27 First News.